All right, welcome back to the channel. Okay. All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching House of the Dragon, episode 9. Episode 9. It's our first episode 9 in the show. Wow. It's a very big day today. Now, what I'm kind of wondering is, is it... Is episode nine in the show gonna be the gonna be the same kind of thing as it is in Game of Thrones, or not? Nah? <laughs> like, is shit about to go down in this episode? Are we about to have a huge death in this, or or a big battle or something like that? You know, like like something to change the course of the entire show. But we did get a death, a pretty significant death in the last episode, and that was Viserys, right? So we probably won't get a death in this one. We might, I don't know, actually we might, we might, I never know, you never know, but my prediction for this episode is that, see, in the last episode, before Viserys died, like, as he was dying, in the very end of the episode, he was talking to Alicent, and he was telling her about the, about the fire and ice, and Aegon the Conqueror, and how he must unite the realm, and, you know, it was the same conversation he had with Rhaenyra earlier in that episode, well... I mean, kind of like her talking to him about that. He wasn't really saying much earlier in the episode, but they did talk about it back in episode one, you know, before he was sick so he could tell her about it and stuff. And so I, so he probably thought, so he thought he was talking to Rhaenyra, right? And now Allison knows this. Now, what is she going to do with that information? She's going to use it to her advantage. She's going to leverage it. I don't want to overthink it. So I'm going to just stop wasting time. We're going to hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that'd be available on Patreon. So let's get started. <laughs> okay, yeah, she just found out. He's just... Damn, Otto looks hella sad. I'm sure him and Viserys are still really good friends. Who knows? I have made Talia. Some of the servants. I saw him last night. Before he... He told me he wished for Egon to be king. Hmm, yep. Yeah. Well... Uttered with his own lips. What is it that could not await an hour? Was Dawn invaded? No. Worse. The king is dead. Yeah. With his last breath, he impressed upon the queen his final wish that his son, Egon, should succeed him. As the mm -hmm. Lord of the Seven Kingdoms. Uh, Rhaenyra's not gonna like this. Dude, this might actually start like a war between their, the families and the houses. For safekeeping. Let ravens be sent to our allies, River Run and Highgarden. Am I to understand that members of the small council have been planning secretly to install my son without me? My queen. Wow. And I will not believe that he said this mm. on his deathbed alone with only the the boy's mother is a yeah it's so unbelievable that he died of his own accord which of us are you accusing of regicide lord beesbury whether it was what oh, oh, oh. oh damn holy shit mm -hmm. sir Kristen, chill bro i know we know you're strong but like damn throw down your sword and remove your cloak sir Kristen. oh no <gasps> no I will not suffer insults to her grace the queen. <laughs> oh. Damn, well, I'll RIP that guy. As it come to this. Lord Commander, enough. The door remains shut until we finish our business. <laughs> yeah, this is just... See, this is our... <sighs> Allison got it mixed up with her own saw Dagon and everything. But Viserys meant Aegon the Conqueror, but he literally couldn't explain that to her because he was literally dying. And he thought he was talking to Rhaenyra anyway, so it's like, why would he, why would he explain that? All of them unmarried, the right proposal... What was Rhaenyra? Hmm. The former heir cannot, of course, be allowed to remain free. You mean to imprison her? She oh. and her family will be given the opportunity to publicly swear obeisance to the new uh, queen. Dude, we got, we got to put him in prison. Nor Damon, which you know. Oh, yeah. This is going to start a war, dude. You plan to kill them? Yeah. Good luck, though. Good luck. A living challenger invites battle and bloodshed. 
It is but a sacrifice we must make to secure Aegon's security. <laughs> and to consider. The king wouldn't wish for any of the king did not wish for the murder of his daughter. Okay, well, at least I was in... Okay, yeah, I like how Allison's like, hey, we're not killing them. What do you suggest, Your Grace? Yeah, what do you think? Lord Commander Westerling, take your knights the Dragonstone. Be quick and be clean. <laughs> oh, he's not doing it. He said, hell no, I'll retire before I do that. I am Lord Commander of the King's Guard. I recognize no authority but the King's. Hmm. And until there is one, I have no place here. Damn, all right, well, that's, that's honorable, I think. Where is Ergon? Not here. He's probably on his balcony doing you know what. <laughs> Bro, why does he look like that? <laughs> that's literally what like, what? Where's the prince? Yeah, Forgive me, Lord Hand. Born to protect him. Yeah. He exploits his authority to order me away, and then he evades me, my lord. Mm. Believe he may have left the keep secretly. Mm. Oh, oh yeah, because he doesn't want to do. He doesn't want to deal with this. He's like, because you know, in the last episode. And remove your white cloaks. None can know who you are or what you seek. Oh shit! Including the queen. Bring him to me, and me alone, Sir Eric. Ah. Uh... Yeah, but in the last episode, Allison was like, you're no son of mine. He was like, I've only done whatever you want. I, he doesn't want this. He doesn't, oh, what, what's going on here? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not, uh. So Eric knows Egon, he has the advantage. What, did Eamon do something to him? I feel like Eamon has a plan. Bro, imagine if Aegon's dead, so then that means Aemon's up next. Bro, imagine that fucker on the throne. Oh. I will not fail you. I'll come with you. Mm, yeah, yeah. Cole needs me, mother. So Eric isn't the only one who knows Aegon's doings. He'll know where to find Aegon. Okay, okay, okay. Honestly, the way I feel about Aemon... I don't, I don't dislike him, but I don't know if I like him yet. I'm, like, neutral on him. I don't know. I feel like I'll warm up to him, though, and, like, I'll probably start to end up liking him, you know? I, I just need more screen time for him to, like, really and really warm up to him, so. You swore your banners to Rhaenyra. You must now pledge them to the future king. <laughs> yeah, Otto's doing as much as he possibly can. As fast as you can. My house on this matter. Hmm. You'll not leave this room without declaring your intention. Ah oh, shit. If you leave, it's war. I guess. It's basically a threat. You're pretty much threatening them then. I will not bend the knee. Ooh. Yeah, because they're sworn to a Rhaenyra. House fell. Keeps its sworn oath to the princess. Mm-hmm. Very well. You're dead. <laughs> yeah, he's like, ah, I'm good. Like, I, I don't want a war. But we won't win. I like how the knights already have green cloaks. <laughs> Thought, pretty sure they had red cloaks in the last episode, but now it's already green. Autos <laughs> can't the work on everything. <laughs> Come here. Get it oh, it's a fighting pit. <laughs> Damn, they're really- wow, they're making kids fight? Wow. Oh. How old are they? Oh, like nine? They have them grow the nails and file the teeth. Oh. Prince Egon spends many a night in this place. <laughs> he know what he is. Yeah. He's a degenerate. Aww. Egon's one of many I'd wager. Oh, yeah. One of his kids, yeah. The good soldier in search of a wastrel who's never taken half an interest in his birthright. 
Mm-hmm. The brother who studies history and philosophy. It is I who trains with the sword, who rides the largest dragon in the world. It is I who should be... King? I feel, I feel like he would be a very king to hang on, honestly. He's welcome to them. I'm next in line to the throne. Mm. Should they come looking for me, I intend to be found. Yeah. Something must be done. Aegon. Oh, no. I can take you to Prince Aegon. Mm. I'm sent by one who knows where he is. I'll tell you for a price. Mm. Oh, okay. Of course. I will consider your price. Your life. We'll spare your life. She'll trust this to the hand of the king only. Impossible. Oh, oh, thank you. oh no. A warning for the princess, I'd wager. Yeah. So I was hella nervous to get the hell out of here. But uh. I will do you the considerable courtesy of assuming there is a good reason for the outrage of my treatment here this morning. He's dead. The king. Yeah. And you are usurping the throne. It was my husband's mm. dying wish. <laughs> it is of no consequence. Ergon will be king. I came here to ask your support. Fuck no. And what has it gained you? Uh. Your daughter dead. Oof. Alone in Pentos. Your son cuckolded. The Iron Throne was yours by blood and by... Ah, oh, she's just... Ah, oh, she's just stroking her ego. For you and your granddaughters to pass on as you see fit. You are wiser than I believe you to be. Mm. Alicent Hightower. A true queen counts the cost to her people. Never imagined yourself on the Iron Throne. I'm sure she has, but... I'll leave you with your thoughts. Okay. Allison, she's wise enough to know it's not what the people want. It's not what the people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they don't even want. They don't even want Rhaenyra on the throne just because she's a girl. I don't think Allison will. I don't think she'll even try, because she she knows. Oh, this girl, Damon's first wife. Mm -hmm. My condolence is on the passing of your king. Yeah, how does she know that? Hmm. She has spies. Where's the prince? He is safely tucked away. I want an end to the savage use of children in Flea Bottom. Deal. Your gold cloaks take the bribes given them to look up. Uh, an obscenity. I look into it. Mm -hmm. You have my word. Okay, that, that's a no. <laughs> She's not stupid. Cool, we're gonna get him and we'll never think of you ever again. We'll probably kill you after this. <laughs> I will remember. No, I don't know. Otto's not fulfilled. He's not going to honor that. <laughs> Hell no. It's just, I'll look into it later. I'll remember that. It's just passively aggressive, passive aggressively saying no. It's like when you ask someone to hang out and they're like, oh, I'll let you know. It, it, it's a no, dude. They're saying no. Oh, what the fuck? He, oh, he's under there. And father the hand. We'll meet you outside the city walls. God damn. Such a man child. Oh, Eamon. And Sir Kristen. Ah. I do regret this, friend. Alright, I got Sir Kristen and Eamon if they're about to fight. Oh, okay, no. <laughs> Why didn't that guy chase him? He's just watching. I mean, they're supposed to- the King's Guard's supposed to stay invisible, so... That's probably why they didn't chase after. I was hoping you disappeared, and they're going to make you king. Ah, I have no wish to rule! No taste- No, the people can't see this. Let me go, or we'll find a ship and sail away, never to be found. No, Eamon- No, Eamon wants the throne, dude. Whatever our differences, our hearts remain as one. Oh, our hearts were never one. I Ooh. see that now. Yeah. Rather, I've been a piece that you moved about the board. And now the debt comes due. A debt you are happy enough to pay. A sacrifice. A sacrifice. <laughs> no king has ever lived that hasn't had to forfeit the lives of a few to protect the many. Though I understand your squeeze. Reluctance to murder is not a weakness. 
I don't know about that in, in this day and age. Because <laughs> no shot, you're making peace with them. No shot. We will send terms to Rhaenyra on Dragonstone. True terms, such that she may accept without shame. No. <laughs> She'll never. Even if she wants to, Damon won't, bro. <laughs> Hell no. My husband would have desired this mercy be shown to his daughter. Your husband? Or you, his daughter's childhood companion? I'm sure he would have requested it if if he did want this. My son will be anointed tomorrow at dawn. My son will take the crown of his namesake, the Conqueror, and carry Blackfire, his sword. For remember the ancient strength of House Targaryen. That's not a bad idea. I, don't... I found out something you should know. What? Watch him just drop a bomb on us right here. That your father... The hand mm -hmm. found Egon first. There is a web of spies at work in the Red Keep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There are more like her. Even I do not know their number. Her maiden. There is one way to destroy his advantage. What? It must be taken out at the head. When the queen dies, the bees fly without purpose. I assume this task falls within your expertise. If you wish it. I'm good. I guess I could fake it, but... Bro, why are we getting foot shots? Like, I'm good, bro. Oh, this, yeah. This can't help himself. Um, dude, I knew he had a foot fetish, too. He was looking at those feet. That's why she took her shoes and socks off. As soon as she took her shoes off, his eyes just immediately... Yeah, she knows, bro. Dude, everyone's just... Pondering, just thinking deep right now. Hmm? With me, princess. Oh yeah, we're get, we're I going. I know that this treachery stand. Hell yeah. <gasps> Who got hung? Oh, that guy. Damn. Where are we? Just south of Kingsway. Okay. The Blackwater's this way. Is this a trap? See if you would leave her. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, oh, was that her room? I don't know why. Who the hell was that? If I could get to the dragon pit, then... No, they'll expect you there, princess. Yeah, you won't we'll... get back again. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta leave. <laughs> they got caught, bro. They're both dead. So... On the way! Oh, they got split up. Just to name the heir, uh, never did. Steadfastly, he upheld the nearest thing. He changed his mind. Wow. Oh, no, nah, not exactly. He's talking about someone else, but... And yet, with his final breath, he whispered to me that you should take his place for the throne. Aegon does not believe her because he is... He thinks everyone just hates him, so he's like, no way. I mean, I mean, it's funny because he's right, but... Not because, like, they hated him, but he's never named king. Do not toy with me, mother. Mm. This dagger. Your grandfather, the Hand, will try to impress on you that Rhaenyra should be put to the sword. You must reject this council. Yeah, no. Yeah, we can't do that. You're your father's daughter. Do you love me? Ah, oh, it's all. Yeah, it's all that's on his mind. It's just approval. Not approval. Just like a love and affection, like true love and affection. You know. He feels like he's not loved by anyone. I feel like no one cares about him. Our beloved king, Viserys the Peaceful, is dead. Mm hmm. But his final wish that his firstborn son, Aegon, should succeed him. Mm hmm. How is the public going to receive this? I think they'll. I think they'll agree with it. I think. Yeah. Yeah, they did not want Rhaenyra. A privilege to be here to witness this. A new day for our city. This would be pretty cool to witness. Like, if you got a pretty good front row seat to it. If you're all the way in the back, no shot. You can even see this fight. May the crone mm. lift. Her shining lamp. She trying to go get her dragon. His way to wisdom. Damn, they didn't really block that off. Anyone could have just gone down there.
Ooh, that's a big honor, I feel like, for Sir Christian Cole. Crown of the Conqueror, passed down through generations. Ah, <gasps> oh, yeah, Eamon. Yeah, Eamon's like, should be me. All hail his grace! No, Otto just nutted. <laughs> Finally got what he wanted. Or maybe he realizes, he's like, you know what, I kind of like this. He sees everyone applauding him, cheering for him. He's like, you know what, this isn't so bad. <laughs> and then he might actually become obsessed with that, like how Homelander is. That's all he's going to want from the public now. It's going to fill the void he had. And he's just going to become an insane narcissist. Maybe. Oh shit, the dragon. Mm. Yep, it's, yep, it's her with the dragon. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's Princess Rainey's with the dragon. Yeah, let's fucking go. Her solo uh, kind of looked like Damon. <laughs> I was like, wait, why is he here? <laughs> So, I'm assuming she denied Allison's offer. <laughs> oh, burn them alive. No way. Don't say it. Don't, don't say it. Don't say it. Oh. <gasps> uh, no. Okay, okay. A little scare, that's all. Letting her know I could have just killed you right here, but I spared you. Alright. I was about to be like, no way, Allison. And they going to literally and everyone just die right here. That would have been one hell of a statement, but Oh shit, okay, end of the episode. Damn. Damn, now I really want to see the next episode. Alright, dude, I can't wait for that. Oh my god. Alright. So an all-out war is about to go down, it looks like, you know, shout out Princess Rhaenyra, Ra shout out Princess Rhaenys for going to Rhaenyra and be, like staying loyal to Rhaenyra, you know, and be like, hey, bro, hey, like, look, you're not gonna fucking believe what just happened, but, <laughs> I, okay, I kind of assumed she would take Rhaenyra's side from the beginning, you know, like, she wasn't gonna cross her over, so, okay, <sighs> My like, goddamn it, Viserys! Like, why? Why you gotta do this, bro? This is probably the biggest mistake Viserys has ever made in his entire life. <laughs> like, not realize. Well, I mean, I don't blame him for not realizing who, for not realizing that he was talking to Alicent and not Rhaenyra. But this is a pretty big consequence because of that. So, so they acted on it immediately, and they're like, "All right, Aegon's now the king." And that one guy in the council that Sir Christian Cole said killed. He was like, no, like, I don't believe you. Like, why would he say that to only you and everything? Even, even on his last dying breath, you know? And like, yeah, like that dude was pretty much right. But then he just started talking dishonorably about the queen. So Sir Christian Cole just popped him. And it's like, damn. And then Otto, he got the work fast, bro. He got the work fast. And then the middle of this episode was just like a, was basically just like a hide and seek for Aegon. You know, we're trying to find him, and then we found him or whatever, and yeah, he doesn't really want to be king because he doesn't really feel accepted by his family and everything. He just feels neglected and stuff. Well, I mean, dude, it's kind of like, it's kind of his fault, if I'm being honest, because he's just a man-child, a lazy man-child who doesn't do anything productive, just lays in bed and has sex with random people all day. Yeah, you wonder why they don't really respect you, you know? It's like, they unconditionally love you, but they don't respect you, dog. And... So I kind of I get why he doesn't want to be king really, but then at the end right there when the crowd was cheering for him, you know, like I mentioned while we were watching it, I was like, oh yeah, he's gonna have a Homelander complex now probably because he's gonna love all the attention he's getting from the public, how they're just gonna cheer him on and stuff, and that's gonna change his mind. And it looks like it did. So, and he kind of he pretty much has the same dynamic with Aemon, his brother, that Viserys and Daemon had. 
you know like Eamon is Damon and Viserys is Aegon you know it kind of feels like the same dynamic like Eamon feels like he should have the throne and so does Damon Damon feels like he should have had the throne too when Viserys was king I think the difference is Damon wouldn't kill Viserys just to take the throne I think Eamon would I think Eamon probably would but he wouldn't do it if he knew he couldn't get away with it that's that's the key that's the catch if he knows he can't get away with it he won't do it like when he finally found Aegon just kind of look at him like okay like yeah I'm gonna kill you like one day I'm gonna do it you know and like yeah he was telling Sir Christian Cole how like he's more worthy to be on the throne because he knows the history he knows how to fight he's probably a better leader all this stuff and he actually wants it but think about it like if the roles were flipped and he was the firstborn would he still be the same person he is or would he be kind of like Aegon, who's kind of complacent and lazy? And since he was the second born, he was he was disrespected growing up. So that kind of gave him the motivation to learn all this knowledge, learn how to fight, things like that, become a competent person. But if he was the first born, he probably never would have had the motivation to do all that. So yeah, and then in the trailer, we just watched Princess Rhaenyra's. She just went over to Rhaenyra and she told him what's good. She was like, hey basically just told him what happened and it looks like there's about to be a fat war between them you know Allison wants peace but like dog like Allison like I know Renary said you're wise but like you're kind of naive to think that like this isn't this couldn't be peaceful fuck no this cannot be peaceful hell no you just disrespected them so hard and I feel like, okay but Allison probably truly believes that Viserys truly wanted a Aegon to be king, you know? It, it was just mis miscommunication, really. And so she thinks she did the right thing, probably. She didn't do it out of disrespect or bad blood or anything, she, or out of hate or anything. She did it because she thought it was the right thing to do, but nope. Like, think about it from Rhaenyra's perspective. Viserys dies. You make Aegon king, you make Aegon king as fast as you possibly can before Rhaenyra can even hear probably hear about her dad's death or anything. Like, yeah, she probably has no idea until Princess Rhaenyra goes over and tells her that, hey, your dad passed away. And there and now Aegon's king, so. But this wasn't like a traditional Game of Thrones episode 9 where like a major character dies or anything or anything crazy like that but this episode was still pretty crazy not gonna lie it was still pretty good it was still it, i think it was just as good as the other episode nines but i don't think they're going for that i don't think they want to make episode nine a tradition of like okay this is the peak of the season like no i don't think they want to do that like it seems like season 10 is going to be the peak or 9 and 10 is going to be a combination of the peak where like 9 really brings up the tension really ramps it up and then 10's just like you know the cherry on top kind of, if that makes sense because like episode 10 in game of thrones is usually like an epilogue to the season kind of like a cool down so but it seems like episode 10 in this show is going to be like the peak i can't wait for next week <sighs> anyways i'm gonna stop talking and i'm gonna stop wasting time so comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments and if you liked the video like the video and thanks for watching